Oh, Yvette, oh. we can't do Christmas together this year. I'm sorry. <laughs> you watch It's a Christmas Story, and I'll watch It's a Wonderful Life, and we'll both be happy. I want to talk these last few minutes about traditions. Like, I would love to know if you have some fun Christmas traditions with your family. Are you creating new ones now that you've got grandkids? What do you guys do? What does the Lapine family look like at Christmas time? Well, I'll talk about three different chapters in our in our life, because when we were first married, our traditions were simply to kind of keep repeating some of the traditions that we had experienced growing up. In fact, when we were first married, our first Christmases were either at my mother-in-law's house or at our home, and we were kind of going through the motions of what we'd experienced as kids. We didn't really think much about what our Christmas traditions were as a family until the year that we weren't going somewhere for Christmas and it was just going to be us. And we had to start thinking, okay, what do we do to make, to start to develop our own family traditions along the way? Um, So, so chapter two, if chapter one is just kind of attaching yourself to the old traditions, chapter two is coming up with what are your, going to be your family traditions. And then Chapter three, now that you're in the empty nest, um, now, now you're thinking differently about the Christmas season and how you can uh, step into other family traditions that are being built, whether it's our kids and grandkids, spending time with them. So I'll, I'll just tell you a few things that have been meaningful for us along the way. First of all, I, I'm a movie fan, and so we have, I, I think I can recite It's a Wonderful Life to you from memory, <laughs> right? Uh, it's a Wonderful Life or White Christmas or some of the other classic Christmas movies. We always made a big deal out of having movie nights and having friends over to watch uh, White Christmas and It's a Wonderful Life were kind of the two tentpole uh, yeah. movies for us during the Christmas season. But we'd throw some other ones in here and there that we liked along the way. Food is a big Christmas tradition thing for us. Okay. When we lived, we lived in San Antonio, Texas for seven years. And when we lived down there in our neighborhood, they used to put out luminaries. Do you know what luminaries yeah. are? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the bags with the yeah. sand and the candle, candle that you would put yep. in them. And you'd you'd light your driveway. And everybody in the neighborhood would do it. And at oh, dusk fun. on Christmas Eve, the, the whole neighborhood was lit up with these luminaries. It was beautiful. But that meant that Christmas Eve, you had to spend a, an hour with sand and candles right. and bags <laughs> getting everything lined up. So Christmas Eve dinner... We got carry out for Christmas Eve dinner. And in San Antonio, carry out meant uh, fajitas, refried beans, rice, t- tortillas. And we, we, you could get a pound of fajitas back then with everything for like twelve ninety five, and wow. And we fed everybody with it. was great. Well, then we moved to Little Rock and we wanted to keep the fajita tradition going, but there was no place in town selling good fajitas in Little Rock. San Antonio was everywhere, <laughs> but not Little Rock. So I drove around town trying to find skirt steak, which is the real right. fajita meat, right? And finally found some, and we we decided it was dad and the girls. We were going to make Christmas Eve dinner. Mom didn't have to worry about this. Of course, that made Marianne more anxious, dad and the girls <laughs> in the kitchen. and uh, But we would cook things, and it was pretty simple at first. And then we said, well, we've got to have fresh guacamole, and we've got to have queso. And we've got to... So it started expanding and getting bigger and bigger. On top of Christmas Eve dinner, then you have Christmas morning breakfast and Christmas afternoon dinner. Right. Those 24 hours are pretty stressful in the kitchen, and it kind of all grew into a big deal. But it's it's to the point where the set menus on Christmas Eve, Christmas morning, that's a big part of our tradition. Looking forward to farmer's breakfast on Christmas morning or the orange cow that Marianne makes that's kind of like an orange Julius that she makes in the blender. Oh, fun. Uh, those are those are some of the the Christmas traditions that have been meaningful for us. Caroling, going door to door and caroling in our neighborhood. Your kids we'd did have, that with you. My kids yeah. refuse. Oh, we th- <laughs> we'd have their friends come over, and I'd get my guitar, and we'd go door to door and sing oh, carols, fun. and then come back and eat popcorn and drink hot chocolate. Yeah, it was one of the things we loved doing. So fun. So fun. Tell me that you like a Christmas story, please, because that is my favorite Christmas movie. I'm sorry. We're going to have to end this podcast here. No, you don't like that movie? 
put down that Red Ryder BB gun because <laughs> it could shoot somebody's eye out. I'm just telling you. I, I, I can't watch the tongue on the flagpole without it being oh. painful for me to watch. I just have to walk away from that. I'm sorry. That is the funniest scene. Actually, one of the funniest scenes because there are so many funny scenes in that movie. That and Elf, I just, every every year, I have to watch them both. Those are my, my... I watched A Wonderful Life last year. You're going to be so disappointed in me, Bob. Oh, man. Yeah, you're going to just want to turn off the camera right now. <laughs> I watched A Wonderful Life for the first time last year. I had never seen it before, and I watched it, and it and was okay. It, it was okay? I didn't love it. Oh, Yvette, oh. we can't do Christmas together this year. I'm sorry. <laughs> you watch It's a Christmas Story, and I'll watch It's a Wonderful Life, and we'll both be happy, okay? Okay, okay, but I haven't seen White Christmas, so apparently I need to watch that this year. Well, I think so, and then let's talk after the holidays and figure okay. out what you thought. Okay. <laughs> Is it better than... Oh, it's a Wonderful Life? Well, I think It's a Wonderful Life is the greatest movie ever made. So... Oh, wow. Okay. All right. But wait, wait. Why, Here's why the real Christmas... test. <laughs> yes. Here's the real test. Do you like The Princess Bride? If you I say do. no, I'm going to just shut off the cameras right now. No, I love <laughs> The Princess. I was, try I was trying to think. I was trying to think. Uh, it it's inconceivable that inconceivable. anybody would not like the Christmas. Okay. <laughs> the You're back in. You're back okay, in. Good, good. <laughs> you stay. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, I love Christmas traditions though. And I love that you know what? We can still sit and have a very reasonable and friendly conversation, even though we have a difference of movies, because the Princess Bride <laughs> has brought us all back together as that's one right. big happy family in Christ. <laughs> because it is the greatest movie ever made. Next to well, my second favorite, I don't know if I've mentioned this on the podcast. It has nothing to do with Christmas. I'm totally rabbit trailing here but annie the 1984 version of annie with aileen quinn yes that was my favorite movie as a kid i could still probably recite that movie like 80 percent of it word for word at least it's okay fantastic. so musical you're good with musicals right <laughs> only right? annie i'm not i'm oh. not well i don't know i did like the sound of music but okay white christmas may be a stretch for you because it's a okay. musical all right but okay we'll, we'll talk afterwards and see what you think i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try to watch that one just good. just just in honor just of you me. this year all right. <laughs> well, so. homeschool insights is sponsored by ctc math if you're looking for a great online math program visit ctcmath.com and try it for free for more great homeschool inspiration and resources listen to the schoolhouse rocked podcast every monday wednesday and thursday 